going on guys? Brenzo with the 3-1. Got my good buddy Bruce here. We also have our guest star out here, Dimitri with Primary Arms. He's going to help us do some camouflage testing. We're very honored to be out here in the Nevada deserts. All right, so it's something we've never done, all right? Tested these camouflage patterns out here in the desert. We've always done it over in uh, North Texas where Bruce and I live and, uh, you know, the North Texas woods out there. So very fortunate to actually get out here and do some camouflage evaluations on actual desert patterns in the desert, the environment that it was intended for. So Dimitri with Primary Arms, he lives out here. So uh, very fortunate to be out, due to him, be out here to come out here, not only do this camouflage evaluation, but do some long range shooting with him. So he's the creator of the ACSS reticle. If you guys know anything about freaking optics, you gotta know who this guy is, okay? So uh, Bruce, you got anything to throw out, throw out there, man? It's absolutely beautiful country. We've had a wonderful time out All here right. exploring the desert and uh, seeing how the uh, desert terrain actually changes within just a few hundred yards here. You can go, we're in the springtime now in the desert, things are starting to turn a little bit green. And so uh, some of the greener, some areas we're getting some sage and, and some uh, brush that's more green. Whereas uh, there's still a lot of sand available and we've got some really dark rocks also, some rock formations on some of these, these hills and, and mountaintops. So um, it's just a very diverse uh, desert environment and you're gonna see that in these camouflage effectiveness videos. Right, driving out here, Dimitri was showing us areas that you know are dry lake beds that look like the sands of like, uh, you know, Kuwait and Iraq and stuff. So, you know, just an awesome environment for this. And I uh, also want to send out a, a special thanks to uh, Pencott. They uh, provided us with two different patterns. We weren't even going to be able to uh, test those because we didn't have them. But uh, thanks to Dimitri reaching out to Pencott, we were able to attain those uh, those samples. So we'll be including those camouflage uh, patterns in this evaluation. So Dimitri, you got anything to tell? No. Good subscribers out there? Yeah, no. You know, just this is uh, pretty interesting camel stuff for sure to see all the different patterns and actually evaluate them. And you guys, you guys probably don't know this, but uh, Dimitri's actually created some of his own camouflage patterns in the past. Uh, was it before you got into the, all the optics and stuff? Yeah, it was before. Well, actually, the the design of the optics was done; just it hadn't gotten picked up yet. Okay, and so. we'll take we'll take a we've got a sample of one of his stuff, and we'll we'll take a close look at at it at the end of this video. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy.
All right, guys, so this is Dimitri's pattern, uh, or at least one of them. He's going to tell us a little bit about it. So this is a, a desert uh, 3D reforming pattern. It's essentially uh, almost an image of the desert that 3Ds back into uh, its original form. Uh, the further you get out, the more it kind of starts to blend in together and create a little dexterity and uh, more the actual signature or texture that you get coming back from a, a desert background. So, and this is just a prototype, you know, just a, just a sample sheet, but it seems to work pretty good. So. Cool, let's take a look at it from a distance. All right, guys, that concludes our desert trials of uh, camouflage patterns that are essentially the most common ones that uh, that we could uh, produce and the ones that you guys voted on. So hope you enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun making it. It's a lot of work, I can tell you that. So uh, that's pretty much all I got, Bruce. You got anything? <laughs> yeah, so another little special treat for you. We threw in the little Taliban get up just so you guys could see, hey, it's what the enemy's uh, wearing. And, you know, we don't know what it looks like on camera yet, but just from the human eye, it's pretty damn effective out here. So, yeah. you know, heads up, freaking solid color, Taliban outfit, fucking pretty damn effective. So, Dimitri, what do you got for us, man? I just, it was really cool to hang out and test the patterns. Surprised how well that worked. Yeah. And surprised how some of the patterns looked up close and how different they look further out. Right, yeah, yeah. He makes a good point. Some of the patterns, you know, up close are like, oh man, you know, stand out like a sore thumb. And then you back them up and they really become in their own. So, um, hell, that's all I got. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, don't forget to leave a comment.